Ashok Nandal. Today we are going to discussing about advanced IC engine unit 3 pollution formation and control. Uh, these are the main particulates of pollution formants. The main are hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide. First one hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon emission results when fuel molecules in the engine don't burn or burn only partially. This will produce hydrocarbons po pollutions. Then nitrogen oxides. Under the high pressure and temperature conditions in an engine, nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the air react to form various nitrogen oxides collectively known as nitrogen oxides. Then carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a product of incomplete combustion and occurs when carbon in the fuel is partially oxidized rather than fully oxidized to carbon dioxide. Then emission reduction techniques. First one catalytic converter. Catalytic converter used in the converter is mostly a precious metal. This metal such as platinum, palladium and rhodium. Platinum is used as a reduction catalyst and as an oxidation catalyst. Although platinum is very active catalyst and widely used, it is very expensive and not suitable for all applications. Then selective catalytic reduction. It is an advanced active emission control technology systems that injects a liquid reductant agent through a special catalyst into the exact stream of diesel engine. The reduction, the reductant source is usually automotive grade urea, otherwise known as diesel exhaust fluid, then EGR. EGR in the internal combustion engines such as exhaust gas recirculation is a nitrogen oxide emissions reduction technique. EGR works by recirculating a portion cylinders. Then diesel particulate filter. A diesel particulate filter is a device designed to remove diesel particulate matter or shoot from the exhaust gases of a diesel engine. Then methods of measurement. Uh, first one NDIR method. This is commonly known as non displacive infrared method. Then flame ionization detector. Then chemical luminescence analysis NOx detector. Then smoke measurement. Finally, measurement of particulate. First one, NDIR method. The instrument used for measuring of CO is non dispersive infrared analysis. The instrument is commonly used for testing and a legal certification of some automotive exact emission. This method of detection is based on the principle of attenuation of light to the properties of the material through which the light is traveling. The sampling chamber consists of the gas which is to detect it while the reference chamber consists of a known as typically nitrogen the wavelength of radiation produced in the sampling chamber is compared with the wavelength from the reference chamber and thus the amount of CO present in can be determined then flame ionization detector flame ionization detector is widely used as a detector in gas chromatography in automobiles, it is used as a standard instrument for measuring hydrocarbon emission such as methane, ethane, acetylene, etc. Advantages of business directed is cost, low maintenance requirements, regular congestion. Then disadvantage of this system is detectors cannot detect inorganic substance. Then chemical luminescence analysis is method used for measuring oxides of nitrogen. The principle of measurement is <coughs> based on a chemical luminescence reaction between ozone and NO which results in the formation of excited NO2 emits lights of intensity proportional to the concentration of nitrogen oxides. The advantage of the system is continuous monitoring, improved accuracy, rapid response time and simplicity of design. Thank you.